आदिभ्यो ब्रह्म विद्या संप्रदाय कर्तृभ्यो शशिभ्यो मुख्यो नमो गुरुभ्य सर्वोपलवर्गी प्रत्यक्षो ब्रह्मवाहमस्म ब्रह्मवाहमस्म नारायण पद्मभूम शिष्ट शक्ति तत्पुत्र पराशरण व्यास सुखम गौड़परम अंत गोविंद योगेन्द्र मथा से शिष्य श्रीशंकराचार्य मथा से पद्म पालन हस्ता मृक शिष्य धंदोटक वार्तेमस्मदुरु सतमस्मी श्रुतिस्मृति प्राणाम करुणा नमा भगवत्द शंकर रूप शंकर शंकर शंकराचार्य केशव बाधरायण सूत्र भाष्य वंदे भगवत पुनः पुनः ईश्वरो गुरुराध्मीति मूर्ति भेद विभागिने व्योम व्याप्त देहाय दक्षिणाूर्त नम सहनाथ सहनौन सह वीरकर वाहि तेजस्वीनावधीतमस्तुमा विपिषा वह शांतिशाशाति यद्रह्म गोचर विचित्रम प्रभा संसार धीजनी दुखमूजन से यद्रह्म धीजनी सौख्यम अभूज तस्मी सहित नमा यमह कारुणिक शरण गई सहोदरापमहत्पद तमहमाशु हरि परमाश्रिय जनक सुखा Just began the Adhyasa Bhashya section, where the Pratna Prabhakara said, <coughs> "Veda Sarvam Manasi Nidhaya." Whatever he has said, Pratna Prabhakara, <coughs> and even the Tika Kara's elaboration, all this is in the mind of Bhagwan Bhashya Kara before he starts with Yushmanasma Pratyagocharyo. <coughs> so. मनसी निधाय ब्रह्म सूत्राणी व्याख्या काम भगवान भाष्यकार सूत्रेण विचार कर्तव्यता रूप श्रोतार्थ अन्यथापत्या अर्थात सूत्रित विषय प्रयोजन उपोदात तत्सिद्धि हेतु अध्यासाक्षेप सामधान भाष्या प्रथम वर्णय सो भाष्य भा, भगवान भाष्यकार अध्यास प्रथम वर्णय and vishay prayojana is definitely there vishay and prayojana and by extension anubandha chatushtya by anyatha anubhati vishay vichara kartavyata roopa shrotartha is there brahma jnanaya phali bhuta jnanaya vichara kartavya ichha sadyo vichara kartavya that is clear from the sutra kartavya pada has been added kartavya Pada has been added to the sutra to sutra vritti to have a clear understanding and thereby vichara kartavyata leads to what the shrota artha by anyatha anupatti sutra ita vishay prayojana tvasiddhi is definitely there and for that what is the hetu since it is upodhatha upodhatha should deal with all the four thereby tvasiddhi hetu adhyasa. अध्यासा लीड्स टू दी विषय प्रयोजन सिद्धि ऑल्सो एस टू दी विषय बींग ऐक्य बिकॉज देर इज अध्यस्त संसारित्व विच विल गो ओनली बाय ज्ञान एंड फॉर दैट विचार कर्तव्य सो दिस भाष्य से युष्मस्म प्रत्येक गोचर हो विषय विषयण हो तम प्रकाशवत विरुद्ध स्वभाव इतरेतर भावापत्त सिद्धायां तद्धर्माण सुतरां इतरेतर भावापत्ति सो भाष्य एक्चुअली दिस भाष्य बिगिन्स विथ विथ एन ऑब्जेक्शन दिस इज रियली दि एक्सप्लेनेशन ऑफ दि ऑब्जेक्शन बाय भगवान भाष्यकार एस टू ही एग्रीज विथ दिस ही एग्रीज विथ दिस As to the Puro Paksha saying that there is Virudha Dharmatva, and he quotes that Puro Pakshi in his own words as to Yushmat and Asmat Pratyaya. These are opposed to each other. Opposed to each other in the sense they are 
they have viruddha swabhava and what is yushmat yushma here yushmat is the idam vritti idam pratyaya idam vritti is called as yushmat here and asmat is the aham vritti aham pratyaya between aham and asmat pratyaya meaning aham and yushmat pratyaya meaning idam really this which you can objectify basically what if it is not clear he says vishaya vishayino vishaya is yushmat pratyay gochara what can be known so gochara is what is accessible to the sense organs or even in the buddhi what is accessible what is understood also so there are multiple meanings we will see in the bhashya uh, we will we we'll see the elaboration in the ratna prabha and uh, a little bit in the tika will we know ourselves from uh, elaborate tika uh, analysis we will shift to more focus to the ratna prabha so yushmat asmat pratyay gochare ho yushmat pratyay gochara and asmat pratyay gochara they have opposition why so because one is a subject the other is the object yushmat pratyay whatever is yushmat pratyay gochara literally what is known as you and what is known as i between them there is definitely contradiction there is opposition viruddha swabhava and this is the reason yushmat has been used because asmat when you say asmat that will have an opposition only with yushmat because sometimes with idam it cannot have opposition in use is sometimes we say <coughs> we are these so idam ime vayam sma we are these so when we say we are these the, this these means the object otherwise what you objectify but then it is said as we are these people there by such uses uses is there in sanskritam also therefore to point out contradiction stark contradiction between vishaya and vishayi yushmat has been used instead of idam along with asmat so yushmat pratyay gochara is vishaya and the objectifier subject is asmat pratyay gochara tayoho tamah prakashavat viruddha swabhavayoho these are having viruddha swabhava what is the viruddhatvam there what is it like it is like tamah and prakasha what does it mean like darkness and light the darkness in a particular room is also seen because of some light being there if it is pitch dark you wouldn't even see that it is revealed that there is some darkness and some light so they can coexist it is not that darkness and light cannot coexist ji tamah is bhav roopa unlike absence of light we don't say in mimamsa shastra it is not said that tamah is abhav of prakasha the way nayayika say or science mentions it we do not agree in sampradaya we say that tamah is yatkinchit bhav roopa avidya is also yatkinchit bhav roopa shastra is pramana for that and anubhav also if you look at it there can be some light if they if they let's say you go into cave in a cave kind of setup the kind of light intensity of light that you need is more whereas darkness elsewhere does not lead need so much of light so there is gradation of darkness we have uses such as pitch dark and if the room is not lit up well with a less wattage of light if you light up the room still it will be a little dark what does it mean it means that there is dense darkness which needs more light to counter it that is the viruddha swabhava they can coexist but then whichever is stronger 
will will wash over the other so we don't have to take everything literally especially because of you know scientific upbringing we have to understand this as to viruddha swabhava what it is and thereby ajnana will be clear because it is compared with tamaha it is not abhava of jnana the nanj in ajnana or avidya is virudharthe nanj so tamah prakasha should also be understood in that manner and then the example understood you can extend it to the exemplified viruddha swabhava what does it mean viruddha swabhava yo ho itare tara bhava rupa patta सिद्धायाम सदी सप्तमी सिद्धायाम सत्याम सो व्हेन दी इतरेतर भावानुपपत्ति दैट इज दी विरुद्ध धर्मत्व विरुद्ध धर्मत्व इज नॉट कोएग्जिस्टेंस नॉट बीइंग पॉसिबल कोएग्जिस्टेंस इज पॉसिबल दे कैन नॉट बी इंटरचेंजेबल दे कैन नॉट बी मिसअंडरस्टूड फॉर ईच अदर यू कैन नॉट मिसअंडरस्टैंड लाइट एज डार्कनेस एंड डार्कनेस एज लाइट tamaha nobody understands as prakasha misunderstands nor does anyone misunderstand prakasha as tamaha similarly vishaya and vishayi cannot have interchangeability that is viruddha swabhava they can coexist in the same adhikarana also they can coexist that is how adhyasa is possible but still nobody should be confusing subject as object and object as subject sakshya as sakshi sakshi as sakshya so itar itar bhava is taking each other's place really so when that is anupapatto siddhaya meaning when that interchangeability is untenable and the untenability is established siddhaya satyam when it is established and it is clear then tad dharmana api tad dharmani tayoho dharmana api the vishaya dharma and vishayi dharma also cannot have interchangeability which is obvious if there cannot be interchangeability between the dharmis because of viruddha dharma uttam then how can dharmas be confused with each other's dharmas their own dharmas cannot be confused with the other dharma therefore tad dharmana api sutaram itare tara bhavanupapatti hi sutaram mean it is far drawn even further withdrawn this possibility <coughs> even if there was a little possibility which is in there even if hypothetically there is some possibility of misunderstanding tamah and prakasha which is in there similarly even if there were where to be some possibility of misunderstanding vishaya with vishayi and vishayi with vishaya yushmat pratyay gochara with asmat pratyay gochara and vice versa even then dharmas couldn't have been confused with each others the yushmat pratyay gochara vishaya dharma and asmat pratyay gochara vishayi dharma couldn't have been conf- confused with each other even in that case and now that you know that vishaya and vishayi cannot be confused with each other cannot be in sense it they are established as completely opposed to each other in that case how can there be any confusion in their dharmas across so that is the opening statement in the adhyasa bhashya tika jivasya brahmatva bodakani sutrani brahma sutra ब्रह्मसूत्रा 
meaning it is not a literal samasa analysis brahmatva of jiva he is known why because these are sharirika sutra sharirika sutra means sharire bhava in the sharira jiva is there so when brahma sutra is dealing with sharira atma jiva atma then that brahmatva of brahma is brahmatva of jiva also sharirasya jivasya brahmatvam since this sutra reveals these sutras reveal brahmatva of jiva they are called as brahma sutras and then bhagavan bhashyakaro adhyasam varnayati pratham varnayati iti kriyakaraka yojana so although they have vyavahita sambandha that has to be known as to how the vakya anvaya is in ratna prabha we have seen this then artha sutrita vishaya prayojan ityadi in the tika it is said nanu सूत्रेण प्रथम प्रतिपन्न प्रतिपाद्य श्रोता उल्लंघ्य चरम प्रतिपन्न आर्थिकाष्यकार प्रथम किमी वर्णयतीटवे जंप टू दि आर्थिकाथ इनफैक्ट दि बिकॉज हि जंप्स टू दि आर्थिकाथ ऑफ दि सूत्र वॉट इज दीनिंग विच इज अध्यास फाइनली इट इट मीन अध्यास implication is adhyasa why does he go to implied meaning and actually since bhagwan bhashyakara goes to the implied meaning of sutra and deals with adhyasa the background to that has been covered by vyakhya and tika but there is an objection to the bhashya itself why do you go to the charama pratipanna arthika artha the implied meaning which is what you land on finally why don't you start with विषय प्रयोजन अनुबंध चतुष्टया ब्रह्म ज्ञान है विषय देपोदात यू ब्रिंग अबाउट दी अदर थ्री एंड टाइट अप विथ अनुबंध चतुष्ट है वाई डोंट यू डू दैट सो देर जैसे सूत्र है ना विचार कर्तव्य था रूप श्रोतार्थ अन्य था रूप अपत्य वी सॉ दिस बिकॉज अदरवाइज इट इज नॉट पॉसिबल विदाउट अध्यास यू कैनॉट हैव ज्ञान निवृत्ति विदाउट अध्यास यू कैनॉट हैव ज्ञान निवृत्तित्व ऑफ जी दुख इत्यादि संसारित्व एक्सेट्रा ज्ञानी संसारित्व वोट गो अनलेस इट इज अध्यस्त एंड विचार इज द मीनिंग ऑफ ज्ञान एंड सिंस इट इज पॉसिबल टू गो बाय ज्ञान एंड नॉट ओनली पॉसिबल दी दुख निवृत्ति इज पॉसिबल अज्ञान निवृत्ति इज पॉसिबल ओनली बाय ज्ञान विचार देर फोर अध्यास इज इम्प्लाइड सो विचार कर्तव्यता रूप श्रोतार्थ अन्यता अनुपत्या अर्थात सूत्रित विषय प्रयोजन उत्तम एंड देर बाय प्रयोजन इज दुख निवृत्ति बाय अध्यास निवृत्ति एंड विषय इज ऐक्य बाय अधिष्ठान ज्ञान दी अध्यस्थ निवृत्ति विल टेक प्लेस यस्टडे वी सॉ दैट That uh, vyakti also yet yajnana nivartya adhyas ashraya ha tat tad aminam thereby adhyasa is implied and since without understanding adhyasa you cannot understand the sutra therefore sutrita vishaya prayojana uttam upodha tatva tat siddhi hetu adhyasa akshepa samadhan bhashya abhyam prathama maranayati That is the reason he deals with adhyasa in the beginning. Sutra ne lakshita ya vichar karta vyata tad rupa shrautar tha shrautar tasya. Sutra ne lakshita ya vichar karta vyata. The implication of the sutra is uh, through not not the implication is the final landed meaning, but the karta vyata word has been added for ekar tha between shrautavya vidhi and athato pramajitnyasa sutra. 
सो सूत्रेण लक्षिता या विचार कर्तव्य था ये लक्षणा विचित्र गणों दी ज्ञान पदा प्रक्रिया प्रथम तद्रूपा श्रोता अर्थस्य अन्यथा अनुपपत्तिर नाम बिना विषय प्रयोजन विदाउट विषय प्रयोजन देर कैन नॉट बी कर्तव्यत्वम ऑर्डेन बाय सूत्रा आल्सो जस्ट लाइक दी श्रोतव्य विधि सो विषय प्रयोजन इज डेफिनेटली देर एंड देन अध्यासा इज फर्दर इंप्लाइड विषय प्रयोजने बिना विषय प्रयोजने कर्तव्यता न संभव थी इत्याक इति आकारिका तया इत्याक था इत्याक कारिका दी लक्षिता था एंड डेट इज़ दी श्रोता था श्रोता तो नाम आर्थिकाद भिन्न था फाइनली दी फाइनल मीनिंग विच इज़ देर आर्थिका दिस श्रोता था इस विच इज़ दी वृत्ति and then you have to understand the sutra to get the complete meaning. So it is different. The after even after lakshana on the padas, the meaning that you get get in the vritti that is different from the final implied meaning. That is why vyakya and tika sampradaya artha diti artha sutra tattva nama arthika artha taya sutra na pratipadit tattva. So artha means what? सूत्री तत्वम नाम आर्थिक आर्थ अर्थात सूत्री तत्वम व्हाट इज़ दी आइडिया ऑफ़ दी सूत्रा व्हाट इज़ दी इम्प्लिकेशन दैट दैट मींस आर्थिक आर्थ तथा सूत्रे न प्रतिपादित तत्वम इट इज़ नॉट अ डिफरेंट मीनिंग समथिंग व्हिच इज़ इमेजिन्ड और सम मिसेंटेप्रिटेशन और सम सकपोल कल्पित � the Arthika Artha is also revealed by the Sutra, just like the Shrauta Artha is revealed by the Sutra and the Sutra Vritti. So it is not something which has come from elsewhere. The Sutra means that it, it has different levels of meanings. You have to understand all levels to get to the complete setup as per the Advaita Sampradaya. What is in Keeping with the final tatpariya, mukhya tatpariya of the shruti. So, vishayascha prayojana ncha te vishay prayojani asyastha iti vishay prayojana vat. So, Matup is mentioned there. What is that? Vishay prayojana vat is shastram, which is sutra. Tadvataha bhavaha. I have difficulty reading this as bhavam because it is... Pulling, should be pulling, Pachpratyanta or Ghani family, which is Ghani family, so it will give you pulling. Tadvataha bhavaha tadvatvam. Vishaya prayojana dvayam iti yavadu. So the, the duet of Vishaya and prayojana is there in the sutra. And these are important, prayojana is the most important, which will go hand in hand with the Vishaya and will drag in an adhikari, who is interested in prayojana, amrutattva kamaha, and then the sammandha is also established as prapya prapya tarupa and the other sammandha between other entities of the anubandha chaturthaya. Sutri tam cha tad vishay prayojana tam cha tasya iti vigraha. Finally, tasya in the Ratna Prabha, you can see that Sutrita Vishaya Prayojana Vattvam Upodha Tattva Meaning, Tasya Sutrita Sutrita Yad Vishaya Prayojana Vattvam Tasya Upodha Tattva Since, it is called as an Upodha Tattva Sutra, Prathama Sutra, Athato Brahma Jitnyasa is an Upodha Tattva of the other sutras and which is same as the Shruti also, therefore it is Upodhata. And Upodhata is what? It is not literally so. It can it can be a figurative usage also. That is why further it is mentioned there. I'll just go through it uh, quickly in the Tika. Upodhata Tva, Upodhata Vishayatvena Upodhata Tva Ityartha. Since it is meant to be <coughs> and like, as an introduction. Therefore, it is considered very introductory to the entire text also. Its nature is to reveal the Anubandha Chaturthaya also. Therefore, it is 
so it can be treated as a figurative usage of upodghata because there may be some lakshana variation also may not be fitting completely atra vivarnacharya pratipadyam artham buddho sangriya prageva tadartham arthantara varnanam upodghata sangati riti upodghata lakshana vadanti so bhagwan vivarnacharya prakashatmiyati says as to why this is upodghata with the lakshana he explains it in the vivarna tika varnanam chinta ityartha what is varnanam upodghata there is some varnana that varnana is chinta it is it is an analysis tatha cha vishaye prayojana dvayasya pratipadya vichara kartavyata siddhyartha chinta vishetva upodghatatvam upacharyati iti bhavah because there is vichara being done varnana chinta being done on what on the siddhyartha of what of the sutras the meaning revealed by the sutra in the sutra artha pratipadya vichara kartavyata so pratipadya yad pratipadya ya vichara kartavyata tasya siddhyartam ya chinta that chinta which is being done tasya vishaya kim vishaya tasya vishaya kah so the vishaya is what विषय प्रयोजन द्वयस्य प्रतिपाद्य विचार कर्तव्यता सिद्ध्यर्थ चिंता सो इस चिंता इज टू एस्टैब्लिश द विषय एंड प्रयोजन व्हिच इज पार्ट ऑफ अनुबंध चतुष्टया एंड अनुबंध चतुष्टया द एस्टैब्लिशिंग दैट इज द नेचर ऑफ बोध घाता एज वेल देयर बाय सिंस द विषय ऑफ दैट चिंता इज विषय प्रयोजनत्व विषय प्रयोजन द्वय सिद्धि देर फोर वॉट उपोदात उपचर्य सो दट इज दिया नॉट स्टे विद उपोदात संगत अवश्य निरूपणीय विषय प्रयोजन द्वय से सिद्धि तत्सिद्धि सो दिस वी हेव अंडरस्टूड दैट विषय प्रयोजन सिद्धि इज पार्ट ऑफ दि अथात ब्रह्म जिज्ञास सूत्र देर फोर इट इज कॉल्ड एस उपोदात बाय एक्सटेन्शन यू कैन से दूत्र इज एन उपोदात Now there is a puro paksha to this. Yushma dasma pratyek gochari. What kind of beginning is this? Where is your mangala charana? So Bhashya does not have any mangala charana. Even before that, what was raised? That objection has been answered, which is going to come up next in the Ratna Prava. First, what is it? Etena sutra artha sparshit sparshit kvad. Ratna Prava says etena. So far, what I have seen, what we have seen, as an explanation of Yusma Nasma Pratyek Gochariyo, Upodhata Lakshana shows that Vishay Prayojanato Siddhi should be there, and that is there in the Sutra. It is there in the Bhashya also. It is there. Now, this Bhashya, there was an objection, if you recall, Bhashya deals with Adhyasa, whereas Sutra has nothing like that. And Shruti also has nothing like that. Where is this connection? Since there is no connection, these are all three different topics for Shruti, for the Sutra, and for the Bhashya, Adhyas Bhashya also. It should not be studied. That has been refuted now. Etena uh, Sutra Arthas Asparshit Sutra Arthas Parshitvat Adhyas Granto Na Bhashyam. Now. That was resolved first. Ek ek artha to was shown, but then there was another objection hidden there as to the sutra has atha ataha brahma jidnyaasa. And let's say you add kartavyata also. Let's say there are four words in the sutra. There are three words. With the vritti there are four words. This adhyasa bhashya is not at all touching any of these four words. then it should not be studied etena sutrartha asparshitva since the sutrartha is not touched by the sutrartha is padartha literal padartha is not been touched by the adhyasa bhashya therefore adhyasa grantha adhyasa grantha adhyasa bhashya na bhashya it is not bhashya at all bhashya has to be on what so if you go ahead in the tika little सूत्रार्थ वर्ण्यते यत्र वाक्ये सूत्रारुकारिभिः स्वपदानि च वर्ण्यन्ते भाष्यं भाष्यविदो विदुः 
सुभाष्यम भाष्य विदहा भाष्यम विदुहु दोसु नो व्हाट इज भाष्य दे कॉल व्हाट एज भाष्य दैट शुड बी कंसीडर्ड एज भाष्य नॉट एनीथिंग एल्स दोस हु हैव नॉलेज ऑफ भाष्य दे कॉल दैट एज भाष्य वेयर सूत्रार्थ वर्ण्यते यत्र यत्र सूत्रार्थ वर्ण्यते अत्र तु न वर्ण्यते अध्यास ग्रंथे सी अध्यास भाष्य हैज नॉट बीन मेंशनड इन रत्नप्रभा दी पूर्व पक्षी डज नॉट कॉल इट अध्यास भाष्य वी कॉल इट एज अध्यास भाष्य ही कॉल्स इट अध्यास ग्रंथ इट इज ग्रंथ ऑल राइट ऑन अध्यास ऑल राइट बट इट इज नॉट भाष्यम व्हाई यत्र सूत्रार्थ वर्ण्यते तद भाष्यम सूत्रार्थ हैज नॉट बीन टचड इन अध्यास ग्रंथ देयरफॉर इट इज नॉट भाष्य by which vakyas vakya hi varnate those vakyas by those vakyas which are sutra anukari bhi they follow the sutra the words of the sutras but this grantha adhyasa grantha does not follow it swapadani cha varnante that may or may not be there but that is secondary initially at least the sutra tha should be touched and in keeping with that the explanation should be there using vakyas so sopadani cha varnante and then the bhashya words themselves are explained in the bhashya but here we don't see any connection to the sutra artha iti bhashya lakshana this is bhashya lakshana and this adhyasa grantha does not fit in it says the purva pakshi etena sutra artha asparshitvat etena sutra artha asparshitvat asparshitvat adhyasa grantha na bhashyam न भाष्य मीन्स इट इज नॉट भाष्य भाष्य न भवती अध्यास ग्रंथ हा भवितुमर्हती किंतु भाष्य न भवितुमर्हती इति निरस्तम इट हैज बीन रिफ्यूटेड हाउ सो आर्थिक अर्थ स्पर्शित्वात सिंस इट टचेस द मीनिंग इट एक्सप्लेन्स द मीनिंग तो भाष्य इज डेफिनेटली दिस अध्यास ग्रंथ इज डेफिनेटली भाष्य बिकॉज़ इट इज इन कीपिंग विद द आर्थिक अर्थ दी रियल मीनिंग ऑफ दी सूत्र नॉट दी लिटरल मीनिंग बट दी कंप्लीट मीनिंग ऑफ दी सूत्र एंड दी अध्यास ग्रंथ आर इन लाइन देर फोर इट इज भाष्यम दिस अध्यास ग्रंथ इज भाष्यम ठीक है आर्थिक अर्थ है व्यंग्यार्थ भूत विषय प्रयोजन द्वय सिद्धि हेतु अध्यास प्रतिपादक इत्यर्थ वी हैव सीन दिस भाष्यम इति देन भाष्यम ऑल्सो वी सॉ भाष्य लक्षण यत्र अर्थ वर्ण्यते तद भाष्यम इत्युक्ते सागरगिरि वर्णनस्य अपि भाष्यत्व प्रसंग तद व्यावृत्य अर्थम सूत्रपदम सो भाष्य लक्षण इट्स विल बी एनालाइज एंड सेड दैट सागरगिरि डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑफ समुद्र एंड माउंटेन्स एटसेट्रा दे विल ऑल्सो फॉल अंडर दिस भाष्य लक्षण हैड देयर नॉट बीन सूत्रपद so sutra is what you call as aphorism is are very short words i mean short set of uh, words short sentences very short sentence sometimes a single word is also a sutra whereas sagaragiri varnana there are descriptions of mountains and uh, oceans they are not sutras therefore sutra word has been added sutra artha so sutra padam अल्पाक्षरम असंदिग्धम सारवद विशुतो मुखम इत्यादि विशेषण विशिष्टम संग्रह वाक्यम सूत्र शब्दार्थ वी हैव सीन दिस लक्षण ऑफ सूत्र अर्लियर तथा च श्रुति श्रुति स्मृत्यो हो सूत्रत्व संभवात इफ यू से अल्पाक्षरम असंदिग्धम सारवद विशुतो मुखम दिस इज आल्सो देयर कैन बी अ मिसअंडरस्टैंडिंग दैट व्हाट इज एक्सप्लेनिंग दोस दैट कैन आल्सो लाइक श्रुति एंड स्मृति भाष्य एंड श्रुति एंड श्रुति स्मृत्यो हो सूत्रत्व संभवात Shruti and Smriti also have such nature, so their lakshana can mean sutratva. Sutratva also they can have sutratva. Sutratva sambhava. Shruti Smriti sutra naam yad bhashyam. Tat sadar naam idam lakshana bhoti. So by extension, the bhashya on the the grantha which elaborates sutra and that which elaborates Shruti Smriti. both can be considered bhashya but the sutra the grantha on the sutra is bhashya technically 
सूत्र अलोन द एलोबरेशन ऑन सूत्र अलोन इज टू बी कॉल्ड एज भाष्य बट देन श्रुति स्मृति ऑल्सो हैव सम पैरल विद द सूत्र नेचर देयर फॉर द ग्रंथ दैट डिस्क्राइब श्रुति स्मृति ऑल्सो बाय एक्सटेंशन इज कॉल्ड एज भाष्य साधारण यद भाष्य तत् साधारण इदम लक्षणम भवति गिरि नदी प्रतिपादक काव्ये संग्रह वाक्यत्वा भावा न सूत्रत्वम इति न भाष्य लक्षणस्य अति व्याप्ति इति भावः देन समबडी यू नो दे कंसीडर दिस गिरि नदी प्रतिपादक काव्य आल्सो काव्य इज अ शॉर्ट बट द डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑन दोस काव्य इज अ नॉट भाष्य देयर इज नो अति व्याप्ति ऑफ भाष्य लक्षण बिकॉज़ सूत्रत्वम दे संग्रह वाक्यत्वा भावा दे डू नॉट हैव दिस संग्रह वाक्यत्व दे डोंट दे आर नॉट रियली शॉर्ट द वे दे हैव द सूत्रज आर शॉर्ट दे आर नॉट शॉर्ट द काव्य इज आल्सो क्वाइट वास दैट वे इन सेंटेंसेस आल्सो देयरफॉर भाष्य लक्षण हैज नो अति व्याप्ति इति भाव दैट इज द एनालिसिस इन यू नो प्रसंग अथवा उक्तम वार्तिक व्यावृत्यर्थम सूत्रानुकारी भी रहती देन देयर इज अ सूत्रानुकारी भी पद ये व्हिच फॉलोज द सूत्र इट डस डस नॉट गो अगेंस्ट द सूत्र यू विल नॉट फाइंड भाष्य Ever go against the sutra. There may be a discussion on the sidelines, but it is not that all. Iti vaktavyam, iti na vaktavyam. These kind of words aren't aren't there in the Bhashya. Adhyahara is possible to get the vritti because sutra's nature is like that. You have to add to make sense. But nothing is taken out. Nothing is cancelled out and said that okay, this this is a better word here or you know this should have been said. Such is not the nature of Bhashya. That is there in Vartika. Therefore, Vartika we have to take them. In Vartika, if you look at uh, Bhagwan Sureshwara Acharya's Vartika, sometimes he'll say, you know, this is uh, uh, he'll he'll present another view to supplement the view, or he may say, iti vaktavyam. He may not talk about. It is all on Bhashya, but he may not elaborate the Bhashya. He may not talk about the Upanishad directly. There may be some other explanation given. Therefore, Vartika has that. Chaitri and Bhrad Vartika have these, and then there are other Vartika also. Vyakrana Vartika, Vyakrana Vartika is more or less like that. On four thousand sutras, there are six thousand uh, uh, Vartika which question what what is the meaning of this? It this should have been said, or this should have been added. So Vartika is also pramana there. therefore we consider three munis and then bhashya on the vartika which takes away all the doubts and says that whatever you are giving vartika is already there in the sutra so bhagwan bhashyakara the maha bhashyakara maha bhashyakara patanjali patanjali maharshi who wrote the bhashya he is also that munitraya is pramana for us so vartika is also pramana although it questions the sutra vartika vyavrutyartam sutra anukari bhi rati so sutranukari bhi is added in the bhashya lakshana <coughs> because bhashya does not question the sutra vartike sutra pratikula varnasya api sambhavat tad vyavrutti vyavrutti bodhya so vartike in the vartika there is a possibility of something which has opposed the sutra also being described there at least apparent uh, as opposed वृत्ति व्यावृत्यर्थ स्वपदा एंड देन वृत्ति वृत्ति आल्सो हैज ऑल ऑफ दीज आइडियाज इट इज आल्सो नॉट इट इज आल्सो नॉट अगेंस्ट दी सूत्र वृत्ति इज इन कीपिंग विद दी सूत्र देयर आल्सो द वर्णन इज देयर ऑफ दी सूत्र वर्ड्स सूत्रानुकारी भी सूत्रार्थ वर्ण्यते ऑल दैट इज देयर बट देन स्वपदानी च वर्ण्यन्ते ओन वर्ड्स आर नॉट एक्सप्लेन इन दी वृत्ति इन दी भाष्य ओन वर्ड्स भाष्य is also bhashya on bhashya at times bhagwan bhashya karu will take and you know uh, he'll take multiple stepping stones to land on the final meaning so he'll give a grammatically corrected meaning so he may give pratyartha etc and he'll give yogika uh, artha of the shabda then he will counter it or present another meaning with a rudi artha then he'll comment on those also therefore and then analyze as to which is better fitting So these ideas are there in the Bhashya. Therefore, uh, Bhashya has Sopada also, Sopada Varna also, whereas Vritti does not have Sopada Varna. Therefore, Ati Vyapti Nirvritti goes away 
if you add sopadani in the bhashya lakshana so anyway that is prasangata uktam interesting nonetheless further in the purnanandya there is a there is an objection which i mentioned as to bhashya does not have any mangala charana and the shishtachara is what shishtachara shows you that this has to be done not only for or by the followers but it has to be done because the shruti says so although the shruti does not say so as in the current shruti available shruti we don't find such shruti but there is a shishtachara anumiti shruti anumita shruti so we infer by shishtachara that they do mangala charana why do they do it so they follow the shruti so it it must have been in the shruti they have learned in the sampradaya so i should also follow it this is the shraddha in the shishtachara and the shruti pramana continues through the shishtachara therefore mangala charana should be done anything which has no mangala charana that should not be followed this is a sampradaya so there is an objection in yushmadasma pratyek gochalo there is no mangala charana why would anyone study this adhyasa bhashya even if it is bhashya why would anyone study it mangala charana is in there so purnanandiya says sarvada sarva karyeshu nasti chesham amangalam yesham hridisto bhagavan mangalayatana harihi it is smrute he there is a smruti that there is no amangala tesham amangalam nasti kesham yesham hridistah harihi bhagavan harihi who is the abode mangalayatana who harihi is the abode of all mangala and in in whose hridaya hari is there hridistah harihi tesham amangalam nasti they do not have amangala when do they not have amangala in in what karya sarvada sarva karyeshu in any karya and in at all times whatever they do they don't have amangala this is what smriti says and we know bhagavan bhashyakara has hari hi as hridista but this is this is an explanation given which is because smriti says so and we have shraddha therefore we will study but if you need an explanation as to mangala bhava then we will show we will show you mangala also mangala is of multiple times there can be uh, kula devata namaskara vishishta devata namaskara ishta devata namaskara there can be ashirvad roopa mangala charana there can be uh, tattva nirupana roopa mangala charana so you can't see mangala charana in the statement is your problem says the siddhanti to the purva pakshi but we see mangala charana in that manner also not only due to our shraddha in, in bhagavan bhashyakara but uh, in the bhashya it is said uh, not sorry ratna prabha flip the page so sparshitva yattu yattu i skip one line there sorry yattu mangala charana bhavad अव्याख्यम इदम भाष्यम इति तन्न सो सिंस द मंगलाचरण इज इन डन इन द भाष्य देयरफॉर अव्याख्यम यू शुड नॉट हैव व्याख्या ऑन इट यू शुड नॉट स्टडी एंड एलैबोरेट दिस इति तन्न टुवर्ड्स द ऑब्जेक्शन तन्न व्हाई तन्न इन द पूर्णानंदिया इट सेड विशिष्ट आचार परिपालनाय विशिष्ट आचार परिपालनाय विघ्नोपशमनाय च विशिष्ट इष्ट देवता तत्व तत्वानुस्मरण लक्षण मंगल सो व्हेन देयर इज अ विशिष्ट और कुल देवता विशिष्ट देवता इष्ट देवता तत्व और तत्व निरूपणम और आशीर्वाद रूप मंगलाचरण व्हाट इज दैट मंगलाचरण इट इज नॉट वर्ड्स दे आर नॉट जस्ट वर्ड्स mangalacharana is not just a set of words dhyana shloka is not a set of words dhyana shloka tells you that dhyana should be done meaning you should have that description hridistha 
and the Mangala Charana for that particular Vini Yoga should be only through that uh, Dhyana Shloka. The Dhyana should be through that, that Dhyana Shloka and the Mangala should be through that Mangala Charana for, for whichever work. That is why we chant the Mangala Charana of the Grantha. So what is that? It is not just chanting, but the meaning has to be there in the Artha should be there in the Hridaya. In the Buddhi it should be there. So when Bhagavan Bhashyakara wrote this Grantha, Yushmad Asmat Pratyegochari Ityadi, what did he have in his mind? How do I understand what I barely know? What do I have in my mind at many, you know, many times? How do I know what Bhagavan Bhashyakara had? Because he had made a rachana of this Vakya. So when he created this Vakya, he would have thought about it. And when he thought about it, then this Vichara is there in Hridaya. So Hridistha, what is the Hridistha there? Hridistha is what you see there as the meaning of the sentence there. Artha. So, Vishishta Ishta Devata or in our case, Tattva Anusmarana Lakshana Mangala. Mangala is Tattva Anusmarana Lakshana Mangala. It is done in that first Vakya itself. Grantha Karana Rupa Karyarambha Samaye Krutam. It has been done in the Arambha. In the first sentence. Because it is the first sentence of the Grantha. Grantha Karana Rupa Karyarambha Samaye Krutam. Kim Tata. Shri Bhashya Karana Iti Avi Preche Dushe Iti. Kim Tata. By Bhashyakara, what has been done before the Arambha of the Grantha? Tattva Anusmara Lakshana Mangala has been done. How so? Tanna iti in the Ratna Prabha, you see. Sutaram itaretara bhavanupapattu siddhaya bhavanupatti. So, Sutaram itaretara bhavanupapatti hi ityanta bhashya rachana artham tadarthasya sarvopadrava Rahitasya Vijnana Gana Pratyagartasya Tattvasya Smritatva Since Bhagavan Bhashyakara has recalled to his mind that Tattva which is Pratyagartha Pradyana Gana Vijnana Gana Pradyana Gana Pratyagarthasya Atmanaha Smritatva That Brahmatma has been brought to mind so Tattva Anusmarana Lakshana Mangala is there because that Bhashya talks about that entity which is the innermost self known by Aham Pratya, Asmat Pratya Gochara, which cannot have any mix up with the Vishaya. That Shuddha Atma has been thought about. Therefore, that itself is Mangala, which is Tattvanu Smarana Rupa Mangala. Ichanta Bhashya Rachana Artham. For this Bhashya to be made, what did he think about? Tadarthasya, the Artha is what? Sarvopadrava Rahita. That Atma which is free from all Amangala, all Upadravas, all Amangalas. Asanga Atma, Shuddha, Satchidananda, Brahmatma, who is not having any bits of that Atma is Ekamevad Vitya Brahmatma, who has no, no Achetana. Nothing Ashuddha about that Atma, nothing Amangala about that Atma. Why? Because Vijnana ghan, Ghanatvam is there. That Ghanatvam is showing that there cannot be any Amangala itself there. Because it is Ananda Rupa, Satchidananda Rupa Atma, Vijnana ghan. Ghanatvam shows that there is no scope of Amangala. It is Shivatmaka. Very auspicious. So that is the reason that since it has been recollected by Bhagavan Bhashyakara, which is shown in the statement itself, that itself is Mangala Charana, because Mangala Charana need not be through literal words and the way others understand it is through the Granthakara's Hridistha Mangala Vichara. Ataha Nirdoshatva Idam Vyakhyam. Therefore, there is no dosha in the Bhashya and it has to be taught. It has to be uh, elaborated in Vyakhya, etc. Saropa Palavarahitasya uh, Purnanandya Saropa Palavarahitasya Nirastha Samastha Duritasya Ityartha So what is Saropa Palavarahita? 
तत्व इट इज दैट फ्री फ्रॉम ऑल उपर प्लवा उपर प्लवा इज दूरी पापा सो फ्री फ्रॉम ऑल सॉर्ट्स ऑफ पापा असंग फ्री फ्रॉम ऑल पुण्य ऑल्सो पुण्य इज ऑल्सो पापा फॉर अ साधक देर बाय वॉट इट मीन्स सर्व उपप्लव रहित मीन्स निरस्त समस्त दुरीत ऑल दी दुरीत आर गॉन अवे फ्रॉम विच आत्मा दैट आत्म तत्व हैज बीन रिकलेक्टेड एंड ध्यात विज्ञान घनत्व वॉट इज घनत्व विज्ञान घनत्व विज्ञान घनत्व चैतन्य एकतानत्व देर इज नथिंग बट चैतन्य इट इज वन होमोजीनियस एंटिटी विदउट अ सेकेंड प्रत्येक पद से अर्थ से अध्यास प्रमाण ग्रंथे वक्ष्य थे and this will be detailed in the bhashya itself in the pramana grantha section of the adhyasa bhashya smritatva aditi vakya rachanayam artha bodhasya hetutvena vakyatasya smritatva ityartha so to create the vakya the vakya artha has to be brought together in the mind and then the vakya should be uttered or it should be written and therefore this vakya has been smrita By Bhagwan Bhashya Kara, which itself is Mangala, Yushmad Asmad Ityadi Sutaram Itre Itar Bhavanu Ko Patti Hi Ityanta Bhashya Meva Mangala Chani Pramana. So what is the Pramana? The first sentence that we looked at, that itself is Pramana for Mangala Chani. Tatha Chha Nirastha Samas Tatha Tatha Chha Nirastha Samasto Upaplavam. उपप्लवम समस्त तथा च निरस्त समस्त उपप्लवम चैतन्य एकतानम अभेदेन प्रतिपाद्यमानस्य श्री भाष्य कृतः कृतः शिष्टाचारो उल्लंघन दोष तस्मात् अग्रणी हि शिष्टाचार परिपालने भगवान सो व्हाट डज इट मीन दैट मंगलाचरण इज नोन बिकॉज़ भगवान भाष्यकार हैज ब्रॉट दिस आईडिया इन हिज माइंड एंड देन ही Did the vakya rachana? During the vakya rachana, he has thought about this sarupa plava rahita brahmaatma. Therefore, what is tasma? Shishtaachara ullangana dosha nasti. There is definitely no shishtaachara ullangana, and thereby tasma agrani hi shishtaachara paripalane Bhagwan Bhashya karai chhi bhava. He is way ahead of your thinking also. He is. He is going to follow everything that you consider as Shishta Chara. He is, you know, topmost among topmost among such followers of Shishta Chara. Agrani, Nanu, Vishista Ista Devata Tattvam Anusmariyate Che Tarhi Tadeva Bhashya Pratipadaniyam Tattuna Pratipadyate Kintu Adhyasa Abhavaha Tasmat Na Tattva Smriti Riti Che Na. So the objection to this is you say that it has been recollected. If it is recollected, then it should be mentioned in the vakya exactly so. Exactly so, it has not been mentioned. There is no mention of uh, sarva prava rahita etc. These words aren't there in the first sentence of the bhashya. So you cannot say that it was recollected. I agree that had it been recollected, it would have been mangala chana. But you don't see that it has been recollected because you don't see those words. Directly in the sentence, it is said no. Therefore, the tattvasmriti has not been done. If this is the objection, and therefore there is no mangala charna. If that is the objection, no. Adhyasa abhava, which is talked about. You say adhyasa abhava is talked about, not tattvasmriti. This adhyasa abhava is what? Adhyasa abhava pratipadanaya eva pratyaktas pratyakt tattvasya smritatva. This adhyasa abhava, adhyasa abhava is not in air. It is not on shunya. It is on that, that tattva itself. You say tattva smriti isn't there. Say the siddhanti to the puru pakshi. How do you say tattva smriti isn't there? Adhyasa abhava is there. You agree? Then how can there be adhyasa abhava without tattva smriti? अध्यास अभाव अध्यास इज ऑन दी तत्व अध्यास अभाव इज आल्सो ऑन दी तत्व यू कैन नॉट हैव सबस्ट्रैटम लेस अध्यास दैट सबस्ट्रैटम इज तत्व इटसेल्फ ब्रह्मात्म तत्व सर्वोपद्रव रहित तत्व देयरफॉर 
तत्व स्मृति इज डेफिनेटली देयर एंड इट इज मंगलाचरण ननु विशिष्ट इष्ट देवता सो यतन वी सो दैट अध्यासा भाव प्रतिपादनाय एव प्रत्यक्त तत्व प्रत्यक्त तत्वस्य स्मृतत्व दिस प्रत्यक्त तत्व इज ऑन व्हिच अध्यासा इज देयर व्हिच शुडंट बी पॉसिबल बट इट इज देयर दैट इज व्हाट इज गोइंग टू बी सेड इन द भाष्य व्हाट शुडंट हैपन वी एग्री इट शुडंट बी देयर because of viruddha swabhava aikya is not possible but it is there there is sadatmya sambandha with this adhyasa which will go away only by jnana of the pratyak tattva which is the adhisthana and adhisthana smriti is there na cha anyartham tattvanu swarnam karyakari iti vachyam and therefore you should not say that he thought about something else not this tattva anyartham api If you say there is another meaning, adhyasa bhava is the other meaning, then let it be. Even if the other meaning is talked about in the adhyasa grantha, the tattva is the undercurrent there, and thereby even if it, the tattva is recollected, so nacha anyatham tattva nusvaranam karya kariyati vachyam. So this is not going to help. You talk about adhyasa. If the puro pakshi says you talk about adhyasa bhava. And you say tattva smriti is there, but then tattva smriti should be for the grantha. This adhyasa abhava and then tattva smriti, there is no link. If that is the case, it is not so. Why so? Anyartham api devata anusmaranam sabhava deva vigna rupa upaplavam dhati. Even if you do it for some other purpose, what what is that? Mangala charana meaning the recollection. If you do devata smarana. If devatas anusmarana is done for anyartha for other purpose, it is not for the sake of recollecting. So the, there is no swartha there, meaning swartha in the sense, not the literal meaning of swartha, rather swartha literal meaning is there. Devatas anusmarana is not for devata. Devata ya eva devata anusmarana na kriyate, kintu anyartham kriyate chedapi swabhava deva. कस्य स्वभाव देवतानुस्मरण से स्वभाव एव तथा इवन इफ यू रिकलेक्ट एंड प्रे टू भगवान ईश्वरा फॉर एनी पर्पस ही हेल्प यू आउट सो इफ तत्वानुस्मरण इज डन फॉर द सेक ऑफ अध्यास भाष्य आल्सो इट इज नॉट ओनली फॉर द सेक ऑफ ब्रिंगिंग हरि टू द माइंड एंड प्रेइंग टू हिम देयर इज नो सच Mangala also Mangala Charana. Even then, it is Mangala Charana. There is no definition that there is no nyaya that Mangala Charana should be only like this. Meaning, it should be only for Mangala Charana. It should not be for any other purpose. There is no such rule. In fact, all over Mangala Charana has a number of such clear revelation also. Therefore, anyartham api devata anusmano sabhava deva vidhna rupa upaklavan dhati. It burns away the obstacles towards anyartha also for other purpose also whatever is the purpose dhumartho vanni there is a typo here dhumartho vanni hi trunadikam eva iti prasiddhatva so let's say you know dhumartho vanni they imagine something where dhuma is needed so vanni is creating dhuma you light up fire and then you get smoke maybe there are some cases where you have to you know you have to create smoke an effect of smoke let's say so you have to create some uh, effect of smoke somewhere in a play or a drama or something and then you light up light a fire even if it is for that purpose what is the nature of vanni it will burn everything in its presence so trunadikam if you have trunadi you have anything else in the vicinity it will burn that away You didn't think ahead, but then that is the effect. It was not the purpose, but then that is the very nature of vanni. It will heat up the surrounding. It will not just give you only dhuma. Similarly, mangala charana also, if it is done for other purpose, it is its very swabhava is to take away upaplava. Nacha prathamiki na asmat pade na eva pratyagatmana smrutatvat kim. किम अनुपपत्ति सो देयर इज अ टाइप ऑफ हियर आल्सो किम अनुपपत्ति पर्यंत ग्रहणम इति वाच्यम नाउ 
the objection can be as to the bhashya start with starts with yushmat asmat pratyay gochari so asmat has been said this asmat is sakshi shuddha atma so that should be sufficient then mangalachana why did you list as to ask the puro pakshi to the siddhanti why did you list the entire sentence till itare itara bhavana upapatti only the first two words are sufficient asmat pratyay asmat as soon as you hear asmat yushmat asmat pratyay gochareyo only single samasa word samasta pada that is sufficient as mangalachana so that is the objection namna cha prathamikena eva asmat pade naiva प्रत्यगात्मन स्मृतवात किपत्ति पर्यत ग्रहण वाच्यम वाय डू टेक दि एंटायर सेंटेन्स एज मंगलाचरण वाय नॉट टेक ओनली दि फर्स्ट वर्ड एज मंगलाचरण दैट इज दब्जेक्शन यू शुड नॉट मेक सच ऑब्जेक्शन वाय प्रत्यक् प्रत्यक् प्रत्यय विषय धर्म भेद अनेकदा प्रत्यक अनुस्मते ज्योतनाथत्वा तथा च दाढ़ तदंतम ग्रहणम आवश्यकम इति भावः सो दिस सिद्धांत इज सेज वेट यू विल सी यू विल सी मोर इन द मोर व्हेन इट गोस अहेड यू विल सी एज टू व्हाट इज द रीजन दैट द एंटायर सेंटेंस इज टेकन एज मंगलाचरण वी हैव अ लुक अहेड यू डोंट हैव इट सो वेट फॉर इट ऑल्दो व्हाट यू से इज राइट इट मे हैव सम सेंस टू से दैट अस्मत प्रत्यय दैट इटसेल्फ कैन बी मंगलाचरण बट वी वांट टू टेक द मंगलाचरण फॉर मल्टीपल पर्पसेस therefore the entire sentence what are what are the multiple purposes it will become clear later pratyakto here asmat pratyay is pratyak yushmat pratyay is para it is outward asmat is inward so this asmat pratyak pratyay which is there which is what pratyakto pratyay so pratyakta pratyatva vishayitva the asmat pratyay is pratyak pratyay it is a pratyay also and it is vishayi also these are the three bhedas which should be shown the asmat pratyay gochara yushmat pratyay gochara what does yushmat mean what does pratyay mean what does gochara mean there are three different reasons why such words have been used so there is a difference bheda between yushmat pratyay gochara and asmat pratyay gochara at three different levels there is opposition at three different levels virodha प्रत्यक्त विरोध इज देर प्रत्यक्त विरोध इज देर एंड विषय विरोध इज देर विषय विषय विरोध इज देर देर फोर धर्म भेद अनेक प्रत्यक अनुस्मे प्रत्यक इज रिकलेक्टेड यूजिंग दिस दीज धर्म थ्री धर्म और इन मेनी वेज नॉट ओनली लिमिटेड टू दीज थ्री देर उपलक्षण फॉर अदर्स ऑल्सो एंड वी नीड ऑल दो अध्यास भाष्य as many as possible to help the sadhaka see how adhyasa is not possible shouldn't be possible but it is possible therefore what does it mean what shouldn't be but is what does it mean finally is going to say mithya bhavitum arhati in the bhashya it is mithya adhyaso mithya bhavitum arhati this adhyasa is also mithya adhyasa is not real therefore adhyasa is false their mithya meaning is false adhyasa itself cannot be it shouldn't be but it is there is a pratiti of adhyasa there is a pratiti of tadatmya sambandha there is a pratiti of samsaritvam alpatvam alpatvam meaning alpajnyatvam alpashakti matvam ityadi all these are superimposed on oneself that superimposition is not possible because dharmas have more opposition than the dharmis also where can there be such dharmas in you they can't be there but there is a pratiti then what is that pratiti is due to adhyasa what is this adhyasa it can't be but it is pratita still it is mithya and mithya there is not uh, you know sarasadhyam anirvachaniya we'll see more of this in the next part huh? but what is being said here pratyak pratyakto pratyatva विषयित्व धर्म भेद अनेक प्रत्यक अनुस्मे ज्योतनाथत्वा तथा चाढ़ दाढ़ सो दैट दिस इज सेटल्ड वेरी वेल इन दि साधक एज टू आई एम नो लॉन्गर अ साधक इफ आई अंडरस्टैंड दिस आई कैन नॉट बी अ साधक देर इज सिद्धि ऐक्य सिद्धि 
I cannot be a samsari at all. Samsari is adhyasta. Adhyasa is mithya. Adhyasa also cannot be. So it is not even adhyas, adhyasta. That is the final meaning there. Adhyasa Vashya shows you that this Adhyasa is Mithya. It is not to establish Adhyasa. It is to establish that Adhyasa is Mithya as well. It will go by go by Jnana and then the person is Shuddha. He knows that he has been Shuddha, Atma, Mukta Atma all the while. Therefore, Dardhyayacha Tadantam Grahanam Avashyakam Therefore, the entire sentence is taken because we get more meaning which is going to follow. It is Sammandha Grantha Vyakhya Samapta. Thereby, the Sammandha Grantha is over. Atah Nirdoshatva Idam Vyakhyam. Now, the uh, other section of the Bhashya starts where the first sentence itself is Sammandha Grantha. So, we will look at more in the next part. Huh? यमिह कारुणिक शरण गरी सहोदरापमहत्मु हरि परमाश्रिए जनक सुखाकृति uh, Ish Ishara, uh, Tatpada and Tompada, yes. Uh, and and with that you said uh, for Mithya Prasiddhi, Ashraya Drishtihi has to be there. I did not understand. Ashraya Drishti has to be there means, see, you cannot uh, say, uh, let's say, uh, uh, see, it was in this context, if you look at Purnanandya, the mm -hmm. context was uh, the Yadya Jnana Nivartya Adhyasa Ashraya Tat Tad Vindam. So, Yad, now you take the example of Raju Sarpa or uh, Shukti Rajata, which is taken here, Shukti Rajata. So Rajata, you have to know Rajata, so uh, uh, not the Tattvam uh, Asi Vakya, but in the Rajata. In the example, the Rajata is Adhyasta on Adhishtana. Adhishtana is what? Idamamsha of the Shukti, which is Shukti itself now. So Shukti... If you don't know this is Shukti, then you cannot have Mithyatva Nishchaya. That Mithyatva Nishchaya is going along with this. Mithyatva Nishchaya of the Rajata. This is not Rajata. How will you know? By knowing this is Shukti. Not any which way. You can't just say this is not, uh, you know, you keep on saying that this is not Rajata, this is not Rajata, it won't work. Mm -hmm. What is it? If it is not Rajata, he, then there may be Bhranti of something else. In the case of, say, Bhuchitra, somebody seeing Bhuchitra, the other is uh, Sarpa. Now you, you tell him this is not uh, Bhuchitra, he may see Sarpa there. So one Bhranti, not being Bhranti, will not take away another Bhranti. There, will be a, there can be possibility of another Bhranti. Mm -hmm. How will it finally go? With Adhishthana Drishti. Mm -hmm. So this statement should be a positive statement. Not only this is not Rajata, Nedam Rajata is not sufficient. Yam Shukti. That jnana will finally, that, uh, that is the Adhishthana Drishti, which will make the Mithyatva Nishchaya complete and conclude in this Aikya Siddhi. Then you will know Tadabhindam. Otherwise, Tadabhindatva is not known. Yes. So, there should be Adhishthana Jnanena Nivritti. Kasya Adhyasthasya. Adhyasthasya uh, Adhishthana Jnanena Nivritti hi Avasya Kamsti. Clear? Yes. Anything else? Anyone else? Okay. Namaste. See you next part. Uh, tomorrow is uh, Guruvara. We'll, I'll see you on Shukravasana. Yes.